Hey, horror fans, what's up? It's uh, Tony back with another uh, video. This is in my horror collection that I'm showing you, and I did change the name of the channel. It's Tony's House of Horror. Uh, I had a friend of mine check out my video, and he's like, man, you're doing pretty good uh, for coming out with a horror channel, but I think you should change the, the name of it. You know, he said, that's cool what you have on her, but I think you should change the name of it a little bit. So I've been thinking from yesterday till today, and I came up with Tony's House of Horror, which sounds really uh, pretty cool. So I changed the name, guys. Nothing else is going to change. Not much, you know, but I want to let you guys know when I go to the Dollar Tree and I am basically looking just for horror DVDs and Blu-rays, but if I find anything else, I'm going to show you what else I found. You know, it's going to preferably be horror movies and stuff that I find at the Dollar Tree. But if I find anything else, I'm just going to show you what I found uh, on DVD and Blu-ray while I was there, you know, at the Dollar Tree. And I will be actually going out today uh, and, and looking, which is, uh, what is it? Is uh, It is March um, 19th. So it's a Saturday. So I'm going to go out and uh, and try to find, uh, you know, find some more. You know, it's kind of hard to find them right now. Uh, because I've been going out like religiously earlier in the month and, and finding different ones. But uh, I've been going back and it's just been the same old thing. So <clears throat> I'm going to try again today. I'm going to try again today and see if I can find some. Sometimes they have them in the back and they they don't put them out. They just sit back there. You know what I mean? Because they have so much stock uh, that they have to replenish in their store. And then they end up bringing those out later, either in the aisles or putting them out on an end cap. So um, let's get into it, guys. This is my Amityville uh, collection. Okay, this is every Amityville horror movie that I own on DVD. I don't, I don't have any on uh, Blu-ray or anything, but this is what I've owned for years. I mean, years, guys. Even before I started doing uh, a, a YouTube channel, uh, you know, uh, based on horror uh, DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff, man. I'm talking like a long time ago. So. Um, I just want to show you my collection of Amityville and tell you just a little a little bit about them of what I remember of, of watching the movies. But it all started with the, you know, the Amityville, uh, the original Amityville horror movie was by MGM, and it is right here. And that's, that's what I'm wondering. You know how you have these MGM movies coming out and going to the Dollar Tree? So I'm wondering if MGM is going to do that for... Um, the Amityville movies, they might. I mean, I, I don't know, but I do have the original ones that came out, not the re, you know, not the remakes of them, you know, on DVD, which is the Amityville, which is the first one. Now, this one was pretty good. This one was pretty. The first one was um the first one was pretty good, and I, I didn't enjoy um the movie. The guy from Rocky is actually, I think, in this one, or he's in the second one. I think he's in the second one. The guy that played um that played his uh, wife's brother or something like that, you know, I think, I think she, I think he's in the second one. Yeah, I think he's in the second one, but this is, this is really good. The first one was very, very good. Um, and I didn't, I do enjoy the Amityville movies, guys. Now these are horror and they are scary. These are scary movies. You know, I think, you know, down the years, um, some people thought that a lot of them were were like, um, <clears throat> I don't even have these in order the way I want to have them. Let me do that real quick. Um, I don't think that, uh, let me see, uh, is it this one and this one and this one? Let me see. Nah, we'll just do it the way I have it here. Let me just do it like this. Okay. I don't, I don't think that um, later on in the years, some of them were creepy. Some of them still had a, a little bit of horror in it. I think it was more like trying to just make them like super like scary, you know, not really gory, you know. But um, there's just something about the Amityville. And Amityville is actually a true story, you know. But there's just something about the Amityville horror movies that are just really good, you know, in my opinion. And I'm going to be honest with you, I like them all. I thought they were pretty good. My next one up here is... Uh, Amityville um, 2, The Possession. Now, that's my favorite one. My favorite one is Amity, Amityville, The Possession, which is Amityville 2. It is the original again. You know, where the, um, the family moves in and uh, their son, he actually gets possessed by the, a demon. You know, and he does some pretty nasty shit to his sister. <laughs> 
you know, that uh, plays her his sister in the movie. You know, but um, yes, it, you know, it's a little bit more demonistic type, you know, shows more of that, like the demon manifesting itself and in, in, in taking possession of the their son, you know, kind of reminds you of a little bit of an exorcist type, you know, movie, kind of, you know, so, um, but this is my favorite one. I liked it part two. I thought part two was really good. I, I liked it part two, you know, and um, they did a, in my opinion, did a good job on it. You know, so that's uh, Amityville, uh, The Possession. That's part two here, guys. And now we have Amityville 3, um, The Demon. Now, th this one was pretty decent. I, I, I enjoyed this one. This one has some more more gore in it. It is uh, The Gateway to Hell is Always Open. And I believe it was uh, something, um, a hole in the, in the cellar, and they were uh, messing around with it. And uh, this demon actually manifests and comes out of the hole, I, if I remember correctly. I haven't seen these in a very long time, but this had some gore factor to it. You know, and that is, you know, Amityville 3, the demon. You know, the covers are pretty decent. It's always going to have, most, for most part, the house on it and stuff like that. But they, if you look at it, it looks very creepy, like a, like a, it's a, telling you I'm a scary movie, you know, a horror movie. You know, and um, it was pretty good. I liked it, too. So three is all is up there, too. And one of my favorite Amityvilles, you know, what I mean, is uh, Amityville uh, three. Now, the next one we have here, this actually has this Amityville actually has Patty Duke in it. Patty Duke is an old actress, I think, from the maybe like early 60s, I guess. I don't really follow all the movies that Patty Duke has done. But Patty Duke is in this, and this is Amity, Amityville 4, The Evil Escapes. Now, I can't really tell you guys in detail about the movie, because I think I only watched it, like, once, you know? And um, this is Amityville 4, you know? So um, if you want to get into uh, into uh, Amityville, this is probably one, one of the ones you want to add to your collection, because I'm trying to own them all. The, new, the newer Amityville that came out, uh, years ago with, with other characters in it and stuff like that when they remade the movie it was okay I, I didn't really like it that much as the old school Amityvilles um, but it was an all right movie I do not own that because um, at the time I just didn't think it was worth owning like I could probably get that today at the Goodwill for like a dollar you know what I mean or something like that and I'm thinking about picking it up and just adding it into the collection but I really wasn't impressed with that Amityville, the newer Amityville that came out, you know, but this is Amityville for the evil escapes. This has Patty Duke in it. And, uh, this one actually, uh, I don't know if this one was MGM. This was Sterling. This wasn't, this wasn't MGM, but this was Sterling. So it's a different company, I guess, that made the movie, produced the movie, but like I said, that has Patty Duke in it. Now the next one we have here have here is called um, Amityville Dollhouse. Like they, they really just really tried to capitalize off of the uh, Amityville name. You know, it started kind of started to think them to become like kind of a cash grab movies. You know, and Amityville Dollhouse was unique. It calls uh, Evil Never Dies. You know, it's the little girl that has it. It's actually kind of pretty cool. Kind of would remind you of kind of like a full moon movie, a sort of type, you know. And she has this like, uh, I think it's like a, a little, if I remember correctly, I don't know if it was like a little clubhouse that you that they made her outside that looks like the Amityville house or it was like the dollhouse itself. I only watched it like once, but it was kind of terrifying. It was a terrifying movie. It was pretty decent, you know what I mean? Um, again, this is Republic Pictures, this one here, um, but um, it wasn't bad, you know what I mean? But that's the cover. The cover's actually pretty cool, you know what I mean? But that's the cover of Amityville uh, Dollhouse, which isn't, which wasn't that bad, you know what I mean? Like these these type of Amityvilles, I don't know if these have actually went up in price, if, if they're cheaper, um, I'm not sure, but that's another one that's in the collection of Amityville movies is Amityville Dollhouse. So check it out if you haven't already, you know. So um, the next one here I thought was pretty good. <laughs> and I showed you the VHS tape of this uh, movie. This is a full screen Amityville. It's about time. I really 
for some reason, something pulled me into Amityville. It's about time. You know, that's the DVD. Something really pulled me into the movie. I just, I really liked it because it had some gore factor in it. I don't want to spoil it for you if you've never seen it, but there's a part in here that just really just very gory part you'll see when you see the movie yourself if you haven't already. All I got to tell you is something happens to a guy in the movie, and uh, it, it's just really cool where, where the house is possessed, uh, you know, the clock is like making people like mad and crazy. I don't want to go too much into it. But this is one of my favorites, and I actually watched this a few times. You know what I mean? It had that gore uh, feeling, like kind of like the first one. And this one here came out from uh, Lionsgate, uh, the DVD. So it is really pretty good. I, I liked it. More of a more modern Amityville like type house. You know what I mean? So they did a, a, a good job on the movie, too. I thought it was pretty decent. So check out Amityville. It's about time. And add it to your Amityville collection, guys. Now, the last one I have here, which um, my friend Katie has already did a, a review on it. Now, I didn't watch the review, Katie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want no spoilers. I have to watch it my, myself. But it is a recent movie I picked up from the Dollar Tree, which is the Amityville Murders. You know, I picked this up and I did a video on it where it was one of my pickups. And uh, I believe she did a review on it. So I need to watch this myself to actually judge it. You know what I mean? But that's it right there, the, the Amityville uh, Murders. Now, hopefully it'll be uh, good. I don't, I don't know. I'll just have to find out for myself. You know what I mean? So, and and, and check it out. I uh, might even watch this this weekend. You know what I mean? But that's the last Amityville that I actually picked up. You know, but I wanted to just tell you guys that uh, the name of the channel has changed, guys. Nothing else has really changed. You know, I've been thinking long and hard about my channel. And I, I want to basically just concentrate on horror and like sci-fi horror movies and gore movies, you know. Uh, different types of things like that. But I think when I go to the Dollar Tree, when I do my Dollar Tree videos, guys, I'm going to just include everything that I get there that's uh, either on Blu-ray or, or DVD, you know. And uh, I got a special video coming up later of a very special actress that I like, you know. And um, I'll show you the video later on sometime, probably next week. But I'm going to go out Dollar Tree hunting again today guys later uh and i will do a video on it and let you know what i have picked up i also want to say thank you for all to my new subscribers man i'm getting up there guys thanks a lot i really appreciate it you know uh very happy about this my my horror channel man so um happy hunting guys on the, out there looking for movies in general uh and stuff from the dollar tree man and uh, big shots out to everybody that subscribes to me I really appreciate it, you know, and I'm just doing the videos the best I can. You know what I mean? I'm having fun doing it, and I love the horror community, man. So you guys rock. Thanks a lot, man. And um, you guys take care, and I'll be back with another video soon, guys. Have a good weekend, guys, and happy horror hunting. Peace.